I will tell you this story. A man that existed amongst the companions who used to, like you'd see him talking normal and smiling or laughing. And then suddenly at occasions, he would start to cry and cry so much until he went unconscious. The companions told the Prophet ﷺ about this man to try and read on him for healing. So the Prophet ﷺ called this man and wanted to help him. He took him aside and he said, what, what, what happens to you, my brother? The man said to him, Ya Rasulullah, I was never going to tell anyone this, but now that you've asked me, I must tell you. Before I embraced Islam, I used to have a daughter. And when she was born, I wanted to bury her. Because the cultural ideology came into my mind. And I started to think that when she grows older, she will bring shame to my family. But I stopped myself. My heart for my daughter was overpowering me. Years and years went, par went by as I watched her grow. And then one day, when she reached close to a blossoming age, she was about to become a lady. He said, I began to have nightmares and desperation and distress. The pain of my culturalism came into me, thinking of the shame that my daughter is going to bring with me if she walked off with another fellow and brought shame to my, all my ancestors. Day by day, I wanted to do something, but then my heart, my love stopped me. Until one day, he said, I could not handle it anymore, Ya Rasulullah. I said to her mother, dress her up with, a, with neat clothes and comb her hair nicely and decorate her face and tell her your father today is taking you out to a party, a celebration, so that she can play with the other friends of hers. The mother knew that the father was up to a plot and a plan. So she dressed her daughter up. She combed her hair while she was crying. The mother was crying. And she powdered her face and made her nice while the mother was crying. The daughter's asking, what's wrong, mother? And the mother would say, nothing, daughter. She's not allowed. Otherwise, the husband will beat her. Or probably even kill her. The daughter said, daddy's taking me out for a celebration. I love my dad. After, after decorating her, the father came along in the evening. And he took his daughter. The wife grabbed, grabbed her husband's hand and said to him, and whispered, to him, but his daughter could hear. And she said some words that made his heart shiver and the word and the daughter to remember. La al amanata ya rajul. O man, do not lose the trust. Your daughter is your trust. The man took his daughter away. And on his way he's thinking to himself, What am I going to do? And the daughter is playing around her father, thinking that her father loves her. He said, I approached a very deep well which was steep and deep and had rocks, sharp rocks at the bottom. He said, suddenly the pains and agonies of my culturism came and burnt me. And I began to think, should I throw her? Should I not throw her? So I would come close, then my heart would not let me. Suddenly the culturalism would come in. He said, I wrestled and wrestled. Suddenly, when I came close to the well, I grabbed my daughter and I threw her into the well. And my daughter howled with her open, horrific eyes, looking at me and saying to me, Daddy, لا تضيع الأمانة. Oh, Dad, don't lose the trust. Don't lose the trust, daddy. The man then threw her into the well. He said, Ya Rasulullah, she kept falling, saying, La tudayya al-amana, ya, ya, ya Abi. La tudayya al-amana, until her tiny voice went away. I couldn't hear her anymore, and she died, Ya Rasulullah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam looked up at him, and his beard was soaked with tears. Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. And the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam's beard was soaked with tears, and he said to him, If Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala was to allow me to punish anyone for the killing and murder of anyone before Islam, I would have started with you. I would have started with you. Prophet ﷺ was the most compassionate, even to the women. And he used to say to them, Mahlam bil qawarir, take care of your precious pearls, your daughters and your wives. Stawsu bin nisa'i khayra. Have kindness towards your wives and be patient with them.